All right. Let me switch this over to Falco. So it's been a long day of matches. And Bobby has also had a long run through losers. We saw his the set that knocked him down here, losing to Killablue and the Ditto, where we had a very unfortunate bout of lag in that last stock, which really hurt to see. Where Bobby, if he would have... He kind of threw away game two. Actually, he didn't kind of throw away game three. He threw away game two when he played Puff. Uh, well, not not by playing Puff. He won the match, but he tried to get stylish with the rest and then lost the Falco Ditto with a little bit of lag at the end. Um, and I don't think now that Bobby's on his final life, we won't be seeing any sort of those shenanigans, but it is Bobby Big Ball, so you never really can count him out, especially because he'll he'll be out here looking for some combo clips for his net play tournament combo. And that should be the stock right there. He's just going to roll up, even with the full drift in, not able to take it. And Bobby takes the first stock of what I believe to be lose quarters. And Madrid's, ooh, not, not getting the follow-up. They're really rough to see. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how Majersk is able to adapt. He should be... Uh, nope. How Majersk is able to adapt from those lasers from the ledge because it's just going to be really rough letting Falco back on for free every time. <laughs> all right, Bobby. I can just DQ you. You made me wait so long. This is not really that laggy at all. This is like one of the cleanest matches if y'all saw what popped through in the net play code. But we shall see if Majerska is able to go on here. Again, we when we spoke about in the the Falco the Falcon Ditto, that Majerska is more of a wild child kind of player, and Bobby also kind of fits into that play style. We really don't have. Um, I guess you could probably point to a few other Falco players that he kind of embodies with that kind of ooh. A, a, a couple other Falco players that he kind of embodies with that style. Um, it's a little bit more straightforward with the the, the Trinity of Falcons. Okay, again, we're going to see those double lasers from the edge. It's interesting. Oh, that should be the confirm. All right, what do we got? What do we got? Bobby's still, even though this this is, match is still pretty close, I think Bobby's very clearly dictating the pace of the set. Even though he's a little bit upset about the lag here, he's whew, putting together some incredible combos. Okay, what's Majerus got? Is he still licking his... Oh, yeah, no. He's, it looks like he might still be licking his wounds from that Pano set. He's just not able to put it together here against Bobby. All right, what's he going to get out of the side B? Ooh, I was wrong. That was uh, pretty sick. Can Majerus pull this one out? Is Bobby's second set on stream also going to be one he loses? He's got five games to figure this one out. And I am speaking in this match where he is in the lead and poised to win this one. Down there. Follow up. Dare. Ooh, nice coverage of the DI on that. Back air, soft back air. Weird edge situation. Get up attack, get some. Okay, what's Majerus got? That's probably going to be it. Okay, Bobby's probably trying to get a little, a little fresh with it. As we've come to expect. And kind of what, what got him into trouble in that set we saw early on stream. So he should just worry about closing this out because Majerus gets one. Ooh. Majerus is not not ready for Bobby to hit that edge guard backer off the jump. And he gets him. No problem. All right, yeah, we can turn off the buffer. Okay, we good. We good, guys. Yeah, hey, yeah. Let me know. Try seven? Okay, we can buff it down to seven. Choo, doo, doo. And Dawson, from your comment in chat, I'm going to assume Dawson won. Excuse me. Dawson won his set. We're gonna go over to I don't I don't I don't think we're gonna I don't think we're gonna go to Mushroom Kingdom. Uh let me let me uh pull up the let me pull up the rule set real quick. Um well, I guess they're just testing it out. They're doing some hand warmers. We finally have all East Coast players in bracket. All East Coast players were in bracket from the start. Midwest is just like West East Coast. Florida's Southeast Coast. Um yeah, and then uh, New England's just northeast coast. Come on, it's just that simple. And like California's just this west east coast. Come on, guys. And Europe's east east coast. Everywhere, every melee region is east coast in some way or another. All right, what are we waiting on, you guys? Goys. Yeah. All right, let's run it. So game two, running it back to bats. Majersk did have a couple flashes of brilliance in there, but he's going to need a few more to be able to win this one. It is such a tough matchup for... Ooh. 
is such a tough matchup for Falcon in this one because just the lasers, lasers for one, and then just how disgusting Falco's combo game is on Falcon. Oh, getting that. We saw Killer Blue do a lot of that and get a lot of kills in his set, getting that fall off back air. Yeah, Bobby's looking, whew. Again, just keeping the pressure on. Maybe the buffer was was the key to keep holding him back in that last set. Doing the wave dash back, keeping the shield pressure on. Oh no, this is this is this is not looking pretty for Majersk. This would be an unfortunate two sets to end off his really quality tournament run with. Getting 3-0'd by Panos and then getting 3-0'd by Bobby. But it is looking quite likely. They're we're getting Bobby's just playing a combo video right now. This is Bobby getting warmed up for another set. This is Bobby getting warmed up for his grand final set with Panos. <laughs> How many tournament winners can his tournament winners break? Okay, but Majersk is not going to get four stock. He's going to keep it up. No problem here. Keep the pressure on and not get shook by these string of tournament winners. All right, back air, down air. Bobby keeps it going. Looking in just under two minutes to take this first game. This is... This is not looking pretty for you, boy. If you're if you're a Pittsburgh, um, if you're a Pittsburgh Penn State fan, this is not looking like your your day for you, boy. It's looking a little grim, dare I say, a little grum for Majerski out here. Bobby again going with those those double lasers from the ledge, and Majerski is just not able to do anything for it. Just not able to hold him back on that. Ooh. Oh, go get him. He's going to go get him. Okay, yeah, Bobby, Bobby's having his fun out of here. Bobby knows that this this one is looking firm in his hand. Ooh. They say a bird on the stage is worth two in his hand. Okay, where's he going to go? Oh, the weird-looking up uh, forward smash hitbox just barely clips Falcon on the ground and takes Bobby that second game. Looks maybe like the buffer was the chains holding him back. And let me double check because I believe we have the results on this. I think the winner of this will be playing up against Dawson. Yeah, Dawson clutched it out. Game three versus Killer Blue, who went both Fox and Falcon is set. So the winner of this, if Bobby's able to win this one, he'll be playing up against Dawson. So Dawson better get ready for for some Falco action. Or potentially even the Ditto. Okay. Majerus tries to switch it up, give himself a little bit more space by going over the Dreamland, but this just might give Bobby a bit more room to uh shoot some lasers and i maybe it's just giving a bit more room to share send his body all around the world with these combos it's looking real nice for robert here is that gonna be dash tech that might just be hit the di far out bobby doesn't even want to give him a chance to recover bobby continues this momentum swing first game there's a little bit of a light at the end of the tunnel for majerus but oh bobby Bobby's just continued the lather on the pressure, and there's just looks like nothing Majerus can do. This really just looks like, like I said before, he's getting ready for Panos. He's playing against that level one Falcon. He's, he's grinding away his punishes in uh, Uncle Punch. Oh, God. Excuse me. Excuse me. All right, let's see. So what, what does Majerus need to win this? What is he looking for? I think it's got to be like what we saw just right there. I, I know a lot of my, my conversation on commentary comes back to this. But, oh, okay. Okay, Bobby. Okay, Bobby. He's already dead. Um, it comes back to Majerus being able to get something off those combos. And when we go back to the, the crazy, the more crazy read-based Falcon style versus the tech chase-based Falcon style, Bobby, who's pretty hard to predict, he goes for some wild options. It's going to be a lot harder to get those reads. And it's even harder to get those reads when you can't even play the goddamn game. Did I... I gotta check the ports on Netplay. I know I'm not assigned to a port, but it really... It's feeling like... And Majerski has played incredible. He, was, he put on some incredible games earlier today. But it's looking like he didn't even get assigned a port for this set. Oh, no. And, okay. Bobby's gonna get back. The double laser from the ledge. Majerski looks like he's finding a way to, to cover that. But, yeah... What really is not happening here is Bobby's getting so much off these combos, and Majerski is not—he's not even—he's not even even able to win neutral. And then when he gets these combos, he's getting 12 damage, where Bobby's getting 60, 70, 80 easy kills off these. Oh no, Bobby, please, Bobby, please! And that's a—that's a, that's a 3-0 from Robert, moving on to play against.